Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Tea Time, a show where I lie to you and drink coffee. It's 8.35 a.m. 8.35 a.m. is my record. Uh, the alarm goes off at 8, and I do a variety of things, and I attempt to do them all as quickly as possible. Today, I got snagged up on actually getting up because I got up and I checked my phone, right? This is what happens, distractions. I got up, I checked my phone, and I had a text message from my friends like, hey, man, you want to hang out today? And I was like, because I have to work. I, as you can see, the acoustic foam is up. Actually, let's let's take a let's take an excellent detailed look at the acoustic foam because it's awesome. And it took forever. All right. So what I did was, poof, bam, got some acoustic foam over here, evenly spread out on this wall. And then we got four panels over there. I got five over there. I got a couple on that door. I didn't know whether to close or open the door. There's no noise out there coming in that I'm worried about. And I figure, like, okay, sound waves will just go out there and get, like, you know, trapped outside and not really come back into the microphone. So not worried about that. That's That was my at least plan. And then over here, we just got two over here. This is a wonderful echo thing. So nothing I can do. I'm not going to put, like, a foam pad right there. Um, but in any case, back to the show. The foam is there. Friend hit me up. And I very much want to hang out and, and play Civilization V, but unfortunately, it's time to work. So I have been working, uh, I've been moving, and now it's time to catch up. So that's what I will be doing. Uh, the donations for the BlizzCon trip are at $740. Thank you all so much uh, for donating and doing your part. It's like, it's actually 740 and blah, 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 blah cents, but I'm rounding, you know. Um, I will be disclosing all that information at the end as well as spending reports and all of that to you because this is a job. I'm going to BlizzCon. It is a job and you all are paying me and I appreciate it. I'm going to be transparent about what I'm doing and what I'm spending on and things like that. So a um, couple of things I wanted to talk about today. So not really sure which to pick, but... I think we're gonna go with um, uh, positive comments and negative comments on YouTube, on, um, actually Twitter doesn't really happen, on, uh, watch, now someone's gonna hit my Twitter and be like, you're meanie, Jack. And I'll be like, oh, I'm not, you know, whatever it might be. Um, but yeah, mostly YouTube and Reddit. And in the beginning, uh, when I started things off before, before people, knew who I was. It sounds really arrogant, but you know, it's accurate before people knew who the fuck I was. Uh got so much hate. So the first thing I ever did um in StarCraft was do hotkeys and I was really stupid and arrogant. <laughs> so I deserved a lot of the hate that I got because I was like the most efficient hotkey layout ever because I've been working on it for like 2 years and I was like this is the best. There's nothing. I've thought of everything. It's got to be, you know really stupid <laughs> because we're still we're still improving that's the first thing that i that i ever learned in esports thank you esports for teaching me how to be less arrogant um so got a lot of hate on that because obviously it wasn't the most efficient layout ever the core is ha, just kidding but seriously go check out the core and it's sort of like in the beginning of things, before I even started anything, it was sort of like, yeah, whatever, you know, people are going to be negative comments, whatever, but it's sort of like they just keep compiling and compiling and compiling and compiling, and they keep, like, getting more difficult to deal with over time, uh, and eventually it's, like, really depressing, like, even, like, the smallest, you know, it gets to the point, like, the buildup, where, like, even, like, the smallest negative comment, I was just like, what am I doing? I'm wasting my life. I should go back to college. I should try to get an engineering degree or a job or, or something like what, you know, all this kind of doubt and, you know, self-loathing and things like that. And it never really got that bad for me because people sort of caught on. I fought the good fight. I, you know, I was really persistent. <laughs> I didn't give up. I made a lot of mistakes on Reddit as well. And you all have forgiven me. So thank you for that. Um, you know, I, I've learned a lot about what it is I'm doing and how to do it better. And in the meantime, I've gotten a lot of, uh, hate, <laughs> not as much as most other people though, fortunately. So thank you for being kind. Uh, but the idea, the concept behind 
okay, you're going to be uh, a content producer, you're going to receive comments on your work, and, you know, what do you do about that? You know, actually a couple of people have asked me, it's like, what do you do about negative comments? Like, do, do they, how do they, do they get to you? Do they not get to you? You know, and that kind of a thing. And I think uh, the strategy that I'm going with now, which is kind of a new strategy, I was watching Unfiltered like weeks and weeks ago when Unfiltered was still running. And uh, I was, uh, they were saying like, oh, well, we never respond to the positive comments. It's really easy to just sort of like blow that off and move on and you become immune to the positive comments and they don't really give you an emotional, strong like response, like happy response in the way the negative comments give you a negative emotional, like sad, upset kind of response. Um, and one of the ideas that threw around was like interaction. Like what if the reason why the negative comments get to you the most is because you assign them value by interacting with the people who are giving you negative comments, you know? Uh, and for the most part, looking at the positive comment and saying, oh, that's nice, and then moving on. Or even, you know, to the point where you have a billion comments and you're super popular and you've got hundreds of thousands of subscribers on YouTube and all this stuff, and you just don't even, you, you don't even read the comments because you can't because there's too many of them, you know? Um, so what my, my current strategy, uh, and it's been working out really well, is I try to interact with the positive comments as much or more as I interact with the negative comments. Um, and I generally don't interact with the negative comments. Yesterday there was a, uh, a post uh, on, on Reddit that was like, uh, you know, with the, with the fundraising thing, like, you know, why don't people play, pay me to go to this BlizzCon? And, and you know, and, and, and stuff like that. And it's sort of, it's sort of like, you know, Jack, you are, you know, entitled, you are selfish, you are, you know, cheating people out of their money, you're playing on people's sympathies and, and stealing money from them, basically, you know, those are like the accusations that lie underneath that comment. Uh, and they can be kind of injuring and painful, but it's sort of like, for me, I approach that from the angle of misunderstanding uh, more than anything else. I think most of the time when people write comments like that, it's just that either they're upset themselves or they don't really understand what's going on. And that's my fault. You know, I think almost always I can draw something back to being my fault and something I can prove. And whenever I can do that, I feel a lot better about it. Sort of it's like, okay, I will try to communicate this more clearly next time and that will be good and i have sort of something that i can do and i can move forward and then the negative comments don't really get to me and the other thing too is like especially if any of you are starting out uh from you know basically nothing and nobody knows who you are uh kind of a thing and you have an idea and you want to do it and you're doing it um read the negative comments you know and look inside of them because a lot of the time the negative comments have really, really good criticism in them, like really, really good stuff in there. But you have to dig it out and you have to like, it's like there's a giant wreck, right? And inside there's like a golden nugget of the giant wreck. And you have to go inside, grab the nugget and get out without the wreck collapsing on you and killing you. That's what negative comments are like. So find them nuggets. I think that's about it. Thanks for tuning in, hanging out, etc. I will be keeping you updated on the BlizzCon fundraiser. You can donate at the all the usual places. They're always in the description. If you like what I do and you want to support me, there are many ways to do it. If you like what I do and you can't support me, or you don't want to support me, you just want to watch videos for free, you can also do that, and it's fine. It's totally fine. Don't even worry about it.